Guys, we're getting stuff. We already got a flag. That didn't take long, did it? Dude, two minutes. I was getting the other one set up, and this guy. This is like a two pounder, probably. He's pulling here. Oh. Just don't, don't rip it. Flight line, small hook. If he wants to go, let him rip it. Get him! Get him! Oh, the hook just popped off. There we go, first fish. Guys, we were getting this tip up. I just got it set. And as you can see, I was in the middle of getting that one ready. We got the shack set up. <laughs> the hook popped off right at the hole. How long did that take, two minutes? Yeah. See you, buddy. Back down she goes. Let's get the other tip ups ready and get in that hut. <laughs> We are set. We are in the hut. Finally. After all that chaos of getting those two tip-ups set up. Had that one go off after probably not even two minutes. Got a nice fish. The hook popped out right when that fish was at the surface. But we got him. Jigging with little plastics I was using last time. The brush foul jigs. I have that same purple and grayish color. It should be an awesome day. We have about four hours to fish. There's fish down there right now. What fish? That's me. Damn, I was a fish. But we are targeting crappie right now through the ice. Crappie and big bluegill. And this water is pretty clean. It's not crystal clear, but you can see a few feet down, the fish can definitely have a good look at that bait. Forgot to mention, this hole is 13 feet deep. You can see both of our jigs down there right now. And we have marked a few so far. My dad missed a couple, of course. Just joshing. And we got quite a bit of time to find some fish, so stay tuned and let's have a blast. Let's meet that up. Let's go in the video. Sorry. I can see the. Oh, oh my god. Come on. Oh shit. Come on. I gotta go. Let's see. Yeah, probably not. But... No. Oh. oh shit. <laughs> yes. Okay, pick it up slowly. And then once you get it high enough, you grab the line and set the hook. Don't rip it like it's a shark. Just got him. Hey, break that ice around there. And if he wants to run, just let him run the line through your fingers. It doesn't feel very big. Maybe not. Maybe it is. I mean, there are five, six pounders in this place, so it could be nice. It is a good one. Decent. Get ready. Yeah. He's got the hug down there. He's fine. Oh, no, he don't. Now. That's a good one. We just had a false alarm, and then this flag went up. It is. The bass are going crazy out here for sure. Well, is that your first tip up fish? Yeah. Tip ups are doing good. Ready? Yeah. Let's get him back. You're gonna bite. Did you see that? No. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, bite. There. Hey, what the hell was that? That's a little one. Lose him. <laughs> That's a little one. Gee, look how purple he is. That's a big ass bluegill. Thick. Little update, how long has it been? Like six months. <laughs> it's been at least an hour and a half. That's the first bluegill. It's like long enough. Yep. Hey guys. <laughs> hour and a half later, got the first bluegill. What a day. We've been getting a decent amount of bites where they just 
nip at it, they won't. I wouldn't even dig in that. They won't fully commit to being really finicky. Normal. This fish. Got him. That's a little one. Yep. You might as well switch to a live bait. I wouldn't even move in. <laughs> Check that tip box. Nope. Check them. Nate, I'm busy catching slabs. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Hard to believe. <laughs> okay, let's see if Daddy can do it again. Got him. Take my thing out. I drag at least. I drag really at least. Damn! <laughs> Get him up here. That good? <laughs> Two tanks going back. This camera, I don't know what's going on. It keeps messing up, so unfortunately, won't have the good audio on here. The audio on that camera probably isn't too bad, but I had to work that bait super slow. I just barely lifted it up, and then once I got it to chase up about a foot, just barely twitching it, and that bite was so subtle. I'm letting it hit the bottom, reel it up about one foot, and just letting it sit. And we're eating it. Oh, there's some fish. Bring it up very slowly. Got him. This one feels giant. I'm just gonna eat it. It feels decent. Another fatty. Number two. Got him. Good one. Jeez. There we go. I took that jig off and switched to a wax worm. They're biting very subtle. I'm just letting that wax worm hit the bottom, reel it up about a foot, and just letting it sit. I'm not jigging it, and they're taking it. All these bluegill are hand sized too. All right, let's get out of here. Okay. This sucks. Caught eight fish, two bass, and six. Giant bluegill. It's been so slow. How long have we been out here? About three hours. I'm ready to go home and eat. Yeah, I'm hungry. The fish are being very, very finicky. The tip-ups went off, like, they both went off right at the beginning. And just ever since then, nothing. Super slow day, but that's the reality of fishing sometimes. It's not always the best. Just make the most of it, and we had a decent day. Could have been worse. We didn't get skunked. It is true. Step on out of here. Get the tip ups and I'll get the stuff. Snowing. It's been snowing all morning. All right, guys. We're out of here. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.